economic side, we are not building and stabilizing black businesses is a lopsided sense of history. Why? Because we cannot expect blacks in power to serve our interests if they've got to go to other economic interests to stay in power. The fact is that most of our businesses need the same support that we got people to come out and vote by the means. So to say that you want to send Barack and Michelle to the White House and then you pass by businesses in your community that would train your children, employ your children, invest in your community, give jobs in your community, is schizophrenic behavior. I mean, this is an exciting event. And what more important than to have uh, this wonderful young lady right here standing next to me, State Farm agent Don Johnson, uh, representing for the community. What brings you out here to the expo today? Uh, just an opportunity, again, to support the initiatives that are going on in the African-American community. Um, it's always a great time to come together and uh, address some of the issues that are facing our community and do what we can to support and communicate about those, those things. Now, you're, you're definitely involved with the community and uh, and being a part of the, the black business owners here. I mean, how is important is it, or how would somebody get involved with, like, State Farm? I mean, that's that's major. I mean, you know, many people don't come out and say, okay, I want to be an insurance agent. So, I mean, how does somebody get involved, and especially with a, a major company like State Farm? Well, State Farm, I mean, especially in light of what's going on with all the businesses right now, State Farm is such a long-standing humble company that's been around supporting many initiatives that people aren't aware of. And, um, you know, for me to become, I've been working for Safe Farm for 17 years now, and I've always known us to be heavily involved in the community. Most people don't know that we, right now, um, our CEO, Ed Russ, is supporting Colin Powell in the youth initiatives to prevent dropout rates um, amongst African Americans. So. You know, we're involved in so much that people aren't aware of. So as an agent, I feel that to take that national initiative to the grassroots, to my community, and make sure that I'm doing my part as a responsible business owner to help in any way that I can. Well, we definitely appreciate your support, and uh, I guess like a good neighbor. There. <laughs> as usual, you know. Uh, I mean, when you see the red, uh, the red and white symbol, this is the lady that you need to call. Uh, she's definitely making it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Spike Spielberg out here at the 2008 Charlotte Black Expo. We are here. It's a great, great event. Plenty of celebrities, Neil Long, Lamont Rucker, and we're here with Mr. Reverend Al Sharpton himself. What brings you to Charlotte, sir? Well, I came for Black Expo. I'm very excited about it. I think the idea of pushing black business and entrepreneurship is very important. We're in a great time, a historic time, but if we don't learn to support our economic institutions, these times will pass and we will have not benefited to the degree that we could have and should have. You know, I, I think that this is a great city, economic climate, things are gonna change around, but what do you feel that we need to do as uh, African Americans to move forward now with Barack Obama, the president, and really align ourselves as business owners? I think that we must begin on several of one, our people must become more conscious as consumers to support black businesses. We must make sure that contracts come from people that do business in our community. They should be subcontracting with us. Governments ought to be contracting with us, government agencies, because it doesn't matter if we have the power of the White House, if the counties and the states are not doing business with us. And lastly, I think that we've got to have a much more of an entrepreneurial attitude. We ought to save more. We need to stop buying what we want, begging for what we need. We must be more conscious about what we're doing in our own personal economic well-being. Now, I know the last time that we spoke, uh, it was during the, the coffee cup uh, with the Aaron Winchester situation. Has there been any developments uh, with that particular situation? Well, National Action Network, North Carolina, we're monitoring that. Uh, we're working along with Willie Gary, the attorney, and there has not been any new development of late, but we're on top of it, and we intend to stay involved until there is a resolution. Well, hey, I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down in the director's chair with me. You. Hey, you are the man, sir. Love the radio show. Uh, what's next for Reverend Al? I mean, are you gonna get into some movies? Can, can Spike Spielberg? Can Spike Spielberg put you in a movie? Yeah, I'll do a movie as long as it's the right thing. But I'm building National Action Network, doing radio, and I'm doing what I do. Okay.
That's what I'm talking about. You're doing it well. So, ladies and gentlemen, hey, this is how it's going down at the Charlotte Black Expo. If you missed this event, you definitely want to be here next year. It's going to be all that. Uh, but keep it locked right here. You're watching Spike Spielberg Presents. We'll be back in a moment. Hi, I'm Mike Minton, formerly with the Carolina Panthers. Keep watching Spike Spielberg. Who's Spike Spielberg? Who? <laughs> Spike Spielberg. I don't know who that is. Spike who? Spike Spielberg. I have no idea who that is. Can you tell me? Spike Spielberg is bringing Hollywood to the Queen City. Y'all know y'all heard of him. We just like y'all know him. You better know him. You better know. You better recognize. Mike Spielberg is. I take it that you're a model. The best that's ever done it. If you don't have an apartment, you're going to have to leave. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I was just looking Where's for you. I got your Where's money. Where's my money? I got Where's your money, money, baby. Run it. Run it. Run it. Can't you see you got me all worked up? 